those who are new here, we bought this Sprinter van a couple of months ago in order to convert it into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure filled life in Europe and beyond. So far, we've removed the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackled the rust, waterproofed the trims, installed a window, a max air fan, a skylight, a visor, built a new floor and swapped out the double seat. And this week, we are going to be getting on with something that I've been dying to do since the beginning of this van conversion. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. And for those of you who were here last week, you'll remember we took delivery of some swivel seat bases. Oh yeah. So I just want to explain quickly why I've gone for the ones I've gone for. Come and have a look at this. So what we've got here are three different examples. It's rather crude with a bit of cardboard, but you'll get the idea. All these seat bases that you can buy, because there are so many, they have their pivot point in different locations. And after seeing some of the others, I decided this was the way to go. So let me show you and explain a bit more. So let's imagine this is the seat base underneath. This one would be a lot like Sally's. If you guys remember Sally's seat base, I seem to recall that the pivot point was quite far back. Now, you imagine that spins around like this. It moves the seat very, very far into the back of the van. Now, of course, she was able to slide her seat back on the runners, but for me, that wasn't quite right. They also, there's a few companies do it like this. I might have exaggerated these a little bit just for the purpose of this demonstration. A few companies have it off to the side like this. So when you swivel, it's a great idea. It pulls you away from that wall makes the swivel easier and it leaves you more centered in the van. Therefore, whoever sat the, the seat next to you will do the same. And you end up with the seats being a lot closer together. It's a really nice idea, but that also didn't work for me. I was a bit concerned about the strength of this, but it also moves this seat away from the opposing seat over here. So what I've opted for is to be as close to center as we can get but um, it has a little bit of uh, give towards the back. So that's basically what ours is going to do. And the other option, if you can hear me over my neighbor with his strimmer, uh, is the ones that have the four bolts in them. So when you stop the van, you've got to take four bolts physically out, turn the seat around at the end of your little camping stay, swap it back round and put the bolts back in. This isn't convenient enough for me. And if you've been following us for a little while and following the van build, you'll know that I am going for as much convenience as possible on this one. When we did our little van, because it was little, we had to have a fold away bed and such like, and a toilet that pulled out of a cupboard and things like that. That's not happening on this van. I am done with that. I'm not getting any younger, notice the gray. I want to be able to crawl into a bed. If it's a rainy afternoon, I want to be able to crawl into a bed when I want to crawl into a bed. I don't have to move someone and fold a sofa down and all that. Bathroom, shower. I've had suggestions and I love the suggestions. I must admit the community is growing on here so much and I'm getting so many great ideas from you people out there. So keep the comments coming. But I did get a suggestion about the shower, about some sort of fold away uh, cubicle type thing, which is a lovely idea and will give a lot more space in the van. But the inconvenience of it. I want to be able to just open a door, pop in, turn a shower on. I want to be able to open a door, pop in and use the toilet if I want to. And the same goes for these seats. When we pull up somewhere and we're parking up, I just want to flick a lever and spin my seat around. I don't want to faff on with bolts. Now I know that might seem like such a silly little thing, but yeah, wait till you get to my age. 
Right, now I'm just going to have to make a little bit of space in here. For anyone who's wondering what these are, these are kitchen worktops for a job I'm doing at the moment. This is just the easiest place, uh, best place to put them. I'm going to move that double seat from there and I'm hoping I've got all the tools I need because all my tools are on my job site. Right, so we swivel it a little bit and these are little things that came with it. Let me see what the instruction says. Something about a spacer thingy locator. Well, these are the centering plates. I'm going by the instructions. They're meant to go through there like that, but That means they can't go all the way down. I don't understand what that's about. They don't seem to accomplish anything. Let's just get these finger tight in. Right, that one's grabbing there. Now what I didn't mention as I was doing this is the holes were slightly off center and it was causing the bolts to go in on a funny angle. Very irritating. No, we are not going to knack our threads up. Oh. Why does nothing ever go smoothly? No, 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 we are not going to mess with knackering threads up. No way, Jose. All right, that's okay. That's happy again. Ow! Why does nothing just go easy? Right, I'm putting these things in. They don't seem to sit right to me, but we'll see what happens when they tighten up. I, I really just can't see what purpose they serve, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, I'm gonna have to figure out that front one. I'm gonna come around there, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. All right, there you go, you're on the other side. That better, right. This is infuriating. Why can't things just be easy ever? Nice slidey action, we'll give it that. That seems to have worked. I cheated a little bit. Now has that screwed this one up? <laughs> I think we did it. This is one of those jobs because I've done it on Sally's van a few times, if you watched that video. Um, I thought it'd be quick and easy. Now I did this one first because it's apparently the easy one. Because if you recall, if you watch previous videos, we disconnected this. On my driver's seat, I need to disconnect and reconnect that. So I'll have to disconnect the battery um, to stop any warning lights coming up on the dash. But that is that. And that's nice. It doesn't hang over far on the other side at all. It doesn't lock back in again, which I've got no problem with. Oh God, teenage boy, John's just gonna swing backwards and forwards in this thing, isn't he? He's really gonna put it to the test. Right. Nice. Let's put the top on. Right. And the seat goes on, whoops, clackety bang. And then we've got nut, washer. Ah, then this is why I need to swivel it a bit. There we go washer, nut, 
not nut washer, that was bolt wasn't it? Bolt washer, washer nut. Right, I'm just going to loosely tack them in quickly. Now this is where we're going to find out whether or not this plastic trim is going to get in the way. It says it'll have clearance if we put the seat on its highest setting. Now that sounds like a pain in the bum every time we want to turn the sweet seat around because I know myself and John like our seats a bit lower but if we have to we have to. It's either that or we have to trim a bit off here. Anyway let's find out. If it does work by jacking the seat right right up that'll do for now I'm leaving it on and then if I decide it's a pain I can always trim the plastic later. All right looking good so I've just got to tighten these bolts up and I can test it out. Exciting. Testing time. Twist, twist. There's a few clicks and bangs, go slow. And that's it, fantastic. So the next thing to decide is, see if I go right round, I can put the seat right the way down. You're still a little bit feet up in the air here. Hmm. That's for the seat all the way down and it won't spin when it's like that. So jack it up, jack it up a bit more, a bit more and a bit more. There, yeah. <laughs> So my options there really are, I either build some sort of sort of foot platform thing here, or I speak to James, my welder man, about cutting and reducing the height of these uh, seat bases. Not sure yet. Give me your opinions. Anyone who's got any experience in this, please drop it in the comments below. What would you do? One of the reasons I went for a sprinter and not like a relay, first of all, the space, but a Citroen relay, which I was originally looking at, because it's front wheel drive, it, it's much bigger here and it has a step coming through. And I preferred the rear wheel drive of the Mercedes because it was just flat through here. And I thought that was much nicer. So if I built a step here to put your feet on, it kind of defeats that, but it's not the end of the world really. Anyway, see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, I think we can live with the jacking it up and jacking it down thing. That's not too much of a problem. The only problem lies if we want to have it on a skew, if we don't go right the way round to straight, if we have these chairs pointing on a bit of a skew. I could be tempted to cut them off and then you can leave the chair down and spin it around. Who knows? For now, it doesn't matter. Let's get the other one done. Ah. Right, John's here to give it a test run since he's probably the one who's most likely to be in that seat. Don't forget, you've got to put the back up first and heighten the seat, seat as high as it'll go. And to, no, the back, John, the back's all the way back. Oh. <laughs> That'll do, you'll get around at that. Very good. That's awesome, isn't it? Has that just changed your world? Yep. <laughs> How did you like rock climbing today? Was it good? Yes, very good. Excellent. Should we do that one? Yep. Right, we're gonna do this one and try and do it as quick as we can. Now I've learned everything from that one. I've just got to disconnect the battery. John's here to help me, so that'll make it go faster. But it's nearly time to cook. It's nearly time to cook. Right, so I hope that angle's all right for you. It's the best I can do really right now. We're just trying to get this done as quick as we can. So let's go. So if none of you guys saw the video with Sally doing her seat, we have got to take this, where's it gone? We have got to take the handbrake off and lower it. And what we've got here is a bracket for doing said thing. So that will go in the position where the handbrake used to be. 
and the handbrake will then bolt in to this slightly lower position, which is about four centimeters, which is hopefully all we need. How do I know to tighten? Because you can't tighten them anymore. Uh, is, that, is that what I want to get them to? Yeah. The point where I can't tighten them anymore. Yeah. Would you like a closer look at what's happening here? I'll show you. Come here. How are you getting on there, mister? Tightening. Good. So the only thing left to do with the handbrake is this is the cover. We need to cut a little notch out of it here in order for it to accommodate where the bracket is now raised. That's for another day. Right, back to getting the chair in. Ready? There you see. And the bolt goes through. Do you think this will... No, we tighten it after the... Okay. And that's it. The GoPro actually cuts off then because it got too hot, if you can believe it, in this beautiful British summer we're having. Um, to keep this cover on, because obviously I'm using this van for work at the moment, so I like to keep the seat covered. I'm just going to connect the battery up, we're going to tidy up, and then we'll show you. Check this out. Go. <laughs> have to go one at a time, don't we? I like your technique. <laughs> oh, all the way around to there, and we can lower it down if we want. Ta da! I've been waiting for this for so long. Close the doors. I've been waiting to see it like this for so long. That just makes the van bigger again. Look at you laying down. I can't get to it from my cover. Should we put that seat around and get the L? Okay, Ella is here. Have a seat, my dear. Now let's just take to the wall. I don't know, I can see it. Shimmy up, shimmy up. John? Go. Oh, it mittens. <laughs> there she comes now, because you're here. You looking out? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Stop. Hello. Hello. Look at me and you at the table. Oh, no. And me all the way over here. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Just yeah, cool. It is. It's quite high. Oh, okay. It's yeah, cool. that's a, that's a distance. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how cool is it, please? Hey, mate. It, 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 I don't know, it, it's cool. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. That just gives us a final feel of what it's going to be like, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hi. Come and sit down, mister. Mm. This is it. Mm. <laughs> this is what it's going to be like. This is us, sat in the van. Mm. Chilling out. Um, Enough room for me to have a... Some sort of slide out table here so I can work. John will have his own little swing out table there. All right, folks, and we're going to end it right there. I know it's a short one, but we just do not have time this week to get any more filming done and any more work on the van. It's the only way we'll get a video out on Saturday. So as always, thank you to everyone. Like, subscribe, share. Ta-da! See you next week. Bye-bye.